Tomb Raider Underworld continues where the last game Legend took off, as Lara tries to protect, uh, save her mother. It has excellent platforming elements that uh, continue in the game. They add a few new moves to her repertoire. But the action and the shooting are uh, very basic and boring and repetitive with no enemy variety. You are going underworld and uh, to get to some of these locations you have to swim. A lot of variety, the graphics have been upgraded quite a bit. Uh, watch out for the sharks, they'll uh, easily eat you up. Um, you'll slide, jump and swing from poles, shimmy along ledges uh, to get from uh, to your locations and artifacts that you need to continue your adventure. You also climb up poles, jump between poles, um, as you've seen in many of her previous adventures and other kinds of platforming games. They've added uh, that you balance on poles and have to control the stick left and right to control her balance uh, to get across these planks to the next location. You also jump from poles to balance on top of other posts, control her balance, and get across the chasm. Lara can uh, jump back and forth between if the poles are close to each other, keeping the action varied and the platforming fun. And she can use her grappling hook to uh, pull large objects back and to solve puzzles. Also use a grappling hook to swing across chasms she can't jump from. And in addition to vines, she can now uh, crawl and jump between stones to along the walls to find what you can uh, use to get across areas. And in addition to picking up large objects for pressure plate puzzles, she can also throw them. This gate wouldn't have, wasn't going to stay open if I got off the plate, but I can throw the actual block into the next room, which is where it's actually needed. And a large part of the game is puzzles. In general, they're very good. Here you're uh, pulling posts out of the ground to turn large objects to gain access uh, to the next area as you go through this door. Overall, the puzzles are very satisfying. Here's some, some of them are small, some of them are large here as you try and um, manipulate this large statue to open up uh, the next area. And as you solve smaller puzzles, you solve bigger puzzles as well. Here, dropping a huge spike platform onto this large octopus so that you can get behind it to the next area. The platforming is great, but the action is uh, less than. A lot of lock-on shooting, and if you get closer, she has new action moves to kick and punch her enemies. But it's very basic and bland. All the enemies are pretty much the same, regardless of how they look. Some areas where you're running and jumping uh, to get out of an area quickly, some slow motion areas to react to the environment, keep things varied in the action at a fast pace. Uh, the, under, the overworld areas are very beautiful and varied, a lot of color, uh, the, you can see through the crystal water, uh, vegetation above and below water is uh, really excellent. But the dark underworld, it is underworld, Tomb Raider underworld, areas are so dark that sometimes it's, it's even, you can even see the poles here that you're trying to jump from. It's almost like a leap of faith. Overall, Tomb Raider underworld is an excellent platforming game. If you've loved the previous games, you'll like this one as well. Uh, the main problem with the game continues is its action is very boring. The enemies, uh, aren't, there isn't much variety in them. But uh, the platforming overcomes that and makes it a fun adventure throughout.